All right, thank you everybody. It's Scott Largent, thank you for chiming in today. <clears throat> Did a couple of videos out in front of the police department and then also in front of the uh, Family Justice Center, uh, as I like to call it, the Family Destruction Center. Many of you are aware uh, I've been fighting to have actual enforcement out of our county uh, involving visitation. I, uh, out the gates, was entitled to have, well, I actually worked very hard to have that, uh, to have visitation to see my daughter. It was twice a week uh, for four hours, and my ex never cooperated with the visitation. Uh, these are civil DV orders in our county, and what they do is, is it's through a civil end. So none of this was criminal. Uh, I, I don't have a domestic violence criminal restraining order. It's a civil order. And what happens with these civil orders is you don't have to have any uh, type of proof. Uh, the law does not have to be violated. It's basically up to a Santa Clara County judge if they're going to determine if this order needs to be put into place. Now, in my situation, uh, I was coming off of methamphetamines. I, I, I had put my ex through hell for a couple of years of being on dope. I'm not denying that. Um, after three weeks, this order was turned to civil and peaceful contact. My other order right here um, was over a family dispute, and it was involving a business transaction with my mother out of Los Gatos. And we have a Santa Clara County judge, Judge Jeremiah Stupid Scott, that actually put this order in place. Um, no criminal charges, no police reports. Um, basically, it was a civil, um, it was just a civil load of crap. Now, what they're doing in Santa Clara County is anybody that runs through our family court system, they're immediately trying to put in uh, civil restraining orders. They're trying to divide and rule the family is what they're doing. And, and what ends up happening is the illness spreading germ attorneys in our county make big dough off of this divide and rule policy right here. Um, my ex and I, we needed skills to be able to co-parent our child, and that's, what we're, that's basically what we are not allowed to have here. They want both parties, mom and dad, to go get you know, their separate apartments, their separate phone bills, their separate insurance. And think about it, divide and rule makes the county a lot of money, it makes the city a lot of money, and it makes the corporations a lot of money. And you can understand that if they were to provide this enforcement, because remember, my ex violated the uh, court order for two whole years. So uh, twice a week for four hours, I had visitation. And this little girl right here missed out on two years of her father's life, just like I missed out on two years of her life. Um, I got clean and sober for my daughter, and, and I'm just, just shocked that our district attorney, Jeffrey Francis Rosen, will not enforce orders for fathers. Now, or so it's an absolute failure in our community right here. And what's happening right now is, uh, well, throughout the leadership of our district attorney, Jeffrey Francis Rosen, he is prosecuting me for protesting family court. I was not blocking a sidewalk. I was out there uh, uh, exercising my First Amendment rights, and I was arrested. I was arrested using a kid's megaphone. Uh, the video's up online. If you type in Scott Largent into uh, just any, any search engine, you'll be able to pull up the actual arrest. Um, that's a great video on there. Our sheriff, our Santa Clara County Sheriff Lori Smith, when she found out that I was arrested, she sprung me out of the jail right away, out of the pokey, dropped the resisting arrest charge. But now our district attorney, Jeff Rosen, is now going to be prosecuting me for that day. Now it was an unconstitutional order, and our presiding judge, Patricia Lucas, put together this load of butt wipe, and basically what it was doing is it was to scare good mothers and fathers away from protesting <coughs> our uh, superior courts here in Santa Clara County. Uh, they're unconstitutional orders, and I'm just really shocked that, that people can't stand up for their humanity anymore. I'm trying to rally more support. I have court appearances coming up. I have shady Santa Clara County judges that don't like my criticism. I've been pulling the pants down on our judiciary here, and they're starting to issue warrants for my arrest. Now, I'm showing up to these criminal court proceedings. I was on the no complaint calendar. They didn't charge me right away. But this shady judge right here, Eric Geffon, and he's a dirty dog. He's been handling some cases of some other activists that I understand that are, that are getting pretty much railroaded by this guy. Um, Santa Clara County Judge uh, Eric Geffon issued a warrant for my arrest. Now, 
it wasn't a failure to appear warrant. The warrant that was issued was to send me a message, and it was all he, all he could dish out was a thousand dollars bail, and it was just meant to harass me. I go through the metal detectors at the family destruction center, and they immediately told me that I had a warrant for my arrest. So it's pretty shady. It's just trying to make me look bad. I advocate for a lot of other people in our community, and what was really interesting is is the day that this warrant was signed by Shady Devon. Uh, was one of the days where I was actually backing up our sheriff in the supervisor chambers. These five supervisors right here have overspent on our jail reform and they don't want to take responsibility. They don't want us to take responsibility for what they did and did not do and they always want to lay it on the sheriff, Lori Smith. So the fact that other members of the public came forward that are actively participating in our government, that understand what happened, and understand that they were directing the sheriff to spend his money. They let Boris with our sheriff know, spend, 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 and that it didn't really matter how much was spent. So you can kind of see where I'm coming at right here. And what they ended up doing is, and you can see this if you go on a lot of different supervisor meetings, you can actually type in and you can realize that the sheriff um, on different agenda items, you can see the spending, you can watch the videos, you can understand what these five supervisors authorize to, uh, our sheriff to do. So you, the public, can figure it out. You don't have to listen to these people constantly throwing other people under the bus. It's just not going to work right here, okay? We understand what's going on. We get the scam right here. Now, I'm going to be going through the malicious prosecution. I'm already being chased after by our shady city attorney's office. And what's also going on is I'm being uh, prosecuted by our district attorney, Jeffrey Francis Rosen, uh, just for standing up for my, uh, fighting for my daughter, fighting for my visitation, and fighting for my property that was stolen by San Jose Police Department. So we have it asked backwards in our county. I appreciate your support, and it more likely will involve starting to get some of these elected officials removed from office because they're not addressing any of these issues. I've come in here and I've spoken at thousands of Santa Clara County Board Supervisor meetings. I have spoke and I have begged and I have pleaded for enforcement to see my little girl for two years. Now you guys got to realize, two years. I had all these valid court orders that weren't enforced by Jeff Rose and RDA. These are valid orders right here, signed by Santa Clara County judges that would have entitled me to be in this little girl's life for two years. So you can see my frustrations. Now, when I went out in front of the Santa Clara County Family Destruction Center and I decided to start protesting, that's when they stuck me in the Santa Clara County Jail trying to silence me, okay? I did the research. I dove in deep to figure out what was wrong with our system, what judges weren't doing their jobs, vocational experts, attorneys. I did the research, okay? I understand the scam, and I started to pull the pants down on a lot of these illness spreading germ attorneys, and they didn't want that. So again, Scott Largent, I appreciate everybody chiming in. I have court coming up. Uh, in April, we have a court appearance on April 3rd, and we also have one on April 12th. And the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office is prosecuting a father for fighting for his child. So it's pretty shady right there. And that's under the leadership of Jeffrey Francis Rosen. And we did actually come up with a new nickname for him today. I've got it on a video. Uh, it's not Free Speech Rosen, it's something like Frozen Rosen. But yeah, oh, Frozen Rosen, that's a pretty good one right there. But our DA is maliciously prosecuting me. And I do appreciate all the public support. I'm trying to rally more mothers and fathers that are not having their uh, their orders enforced right here. Yeah. This is valid stuff right here that is just ignored uh, by these supervisors. Do these supervisors think that it is a problem that a clean and sober father cannot be in his little girl's life? I just don't get it right here. Failure, 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 failure. Okay, and I came in here for years and Supervisor Ken Yeager just ignored any and everything I brought in front of him, okay? And Elmer's doing the same thing right now, so I'm a little, uh, a little frustrated. I appreciate all your support. Please chime in, and I would love for anybody to be attending my oh, yeah. I appreciate your support. Thank you, everyone. And I love you to the end. And Daddy misses you so much, and we're never going to stop fighting for you. Dad's and mom's lives matter. Thank you.